My next novel is called A Town Like Ours and it's to be published by Aleph in May. It's a, the story is set in an imagined place in Karnataka where uh, in a small town a, a woman who has just uh, who is actually a prostitute and who's just passed her prime days is uh, telling the story and uh, through her we hear how this town was once a village in her younger days it was a village and it is now morphed into a town and through the story she talks about she we realize the pain and the uh, the pressures uh, and the breakdown of tradition and culture the way they affect the people who have lived in the village and who still consider it to be a village uh, there are four main characters in the story and uh, there is one uh, Saroja who is fleeing from the scene of her crime along with her son and she joins up with a man and they begin to live together and they live in a taxi along with the, his own little girl. Uh, somewhere along the way we realize, we come to hear about the story through, the, through this woman who uh, uh, we hear that the children who are being born in this town are born with white hair and not black. They develop white hair. And uh, there is a great mystery about this. Uh, many people think it is the blessings of the goddess. The goddess Pingakshi resides in, the, in that particular village, in the temple, temple to goddess Pingakshi, and which means the red-eyed goddess. And they think it's her blessing, some think it is her curse, and, but they are uh, willing to accept it. And this has been there for about 15 or 16 years. And scientists also...